celebrating the world's best dabs. Son, this is whiskey. Try some. Okay, thanks, Dad. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, honey. Sure, Dad may forget birthdays, graduations, even your fourth grade piano recital. But he'll never forget to tell you. You're doing that wrong. No, I'm not, Dad. Yes, you are. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of DadCast. What's happening? I am JP, and we're joined with Nick Martin. Nick, how are you? Hey, what's up? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Uh, we are fantastic. And of course, today we have our very special guest, rock star extraordinaire, um, there's stories that I could oh, tell you yeah. about Jesse Lawson, <laughs> him and I, but it, it's not even appropriate for this podcast. So we're, we're going to leave those alone. But Jesse Lawson, welcome to DadCast, thank man. You. Thank you. And thank you guys for having me. This is going to be great. Absolutely. Yeah, this, be fun. this is awesome. our first adventure into actually doing a, uh, a podcast via a Zoom meeting. And uh, so it's weird. Yeah. I don't know whether to look here or up there, here or up there, here or up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, we're stoked to have you. Nick Martin, how's it been since the uh, two days ago that I've seen you? Yeah. Um, well, getting a lot of people on the podcast, JP yelling at me for getting a lot of people on the podcast or having multiple co- podcasts a week. <laughs> so I, I, yeah. I would go as far as to say I yell, I texted you. And unfortunately, you can't get tone with text. So if you felt I was yelling at you, I wasn't. I was, I was being firm dad. I you. was just excited. Yep. The the homie Ty Zamora hit me up last night. He's like, hey, I want to be on the podcast. And I was like, all right, cool. That's, really, that's why I got to get you trained up to do all this. For Godsmack, for goodness sakes. Come on. <laughs> <And> no <laughs> one's that's arguing awesome. that. But Jesse friggin' Lawson currently yeah, yeah. from the band Lemon. Um, we have to start by asking you the most important question there is when it comes to DadCast. Yes. Are you a dad? I am a dad. I am a dad of two daughters. Yes. Two uh, daughters. So, yeah. So I'm, uh, I've got girls so far and, um, and it's great. It's really good. Isn't it awesome, man? I tell you, I'd, every time it comes up on the, on the uh, podcast, uh, being a dad to a daughter is a whole different game. You wouldn't know you totally. don't have any sons, but I have a son and two daughters <laughs> and yeah, it's, exactly. yeah. And so I've is Nick. Old. It's <laughs> Do you, do you guys do you guys both have um teenagers at yes. this point? Is that wild? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I what? I feel like I've got teenagers so, so already. You've got, two, you've got two girls that are going to be teenagers, but and, that's oh man. I feel bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> wild is not the word, Jesse. The 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 word is oh gosh, chaos. Yeah. Fear. Oh. <laughs> chaos and fear chaos right, and like fear it. once they once it gets there and it, all i'm gonna say like nick i don't know if you're anti or pro gun but just keep one around for a uh, intimidation sake yeah, mine mine's pink camo is that okay that's like, not too yeah, intimidating that, it's, it's not too intimidating it's like it's kind of like uh, it, it could kill you but it could also hug you it's, <laughs> you know <laughs> It's all right. It's a good story, though. <laughs> oh, man. So tell us about the band Lemon. What What do you got going on with that? It, it, more importantly, is there any touring going to happen? I mean, with COVID and things getting better oh, here soon? Hopefully, yeah. That's definitely um, something we're looking forward to. I actually, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't wait to, to perform again. Um, I don't know how yet because it's just me. Uh, <laughs> but I could play a triangle. Out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, and Nick, I can call up some friends and, and make it happen. Nick plays a mean skin flute too. We can knock this thing out the park. <laughs> Just ragging on him already. We're yeah. only yeah. like ten minutes in. Oh, you should. We made, we made it nine minutes further this Wait. time, actually. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. We're there. <laughs> We're trying not to get canceled this season you know like there's all that cancel culture going on we're trying not to get canceled you can't cancel That's a good a plan. podcast That's a, the only know. thing that could happen is we could lose sponsorships and we definitely don't want to do that exactly and speaking of sponsorships no. uh man we got a ton of them just coming on board i want to thank them let's thank one at a time real quick i'm gonna go first red robin gourmet burgers you're amazing thank yeah, you you uh jl insurance llc thanks bro yeah, thanks, bro. Anchor Valley <laughs> Wine, which, by the way, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you go to their website and order, 
two bottles of wine and put in the code, is it DC10? Yes, it's DC10. DC10, you're going to get 10% off your order. Boom, just like that. Thank you, Anchor Valley Wine. Yeah. Boneyard Elixir. Oh, as is fun cue. If you go to their website, boneyardelixir.com, enter the code DADCAST, you're going to get 10% off. And they ship right to your door, just like our buddies at Anchor Valley Wine. We're going to find out because I ordered some. Ordered? Did you order the wine or did you order the elixir? I ordered the elixir because, I, you know, I, 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 I tried the Boneyard. It got CBD in it, so... You know, I, good. Just, I was going to oh, do I know, both. I, I, I'm, I'm curious about that. Can you guys tell me more about it? Because I haven't heard of it until now. Are you I a fan? It has CBD. Are you a fan yeah. of of the uh, the marijuana and everything in all aspects? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good man. That's good stuff. Um, it's oh, yeah. <laughs> they just infuse CBD with their sodas, and I, so it's not a beer. No. It's, no. No. It's it's a oh. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a, they have a soda, they have sugar free, they have, it's kind of like a, wow. some of it's like a sparkling water with CBD infused. Really? More of like a wellness thing, kind of yeah. calming. Jesse, where, do, great. where are you living these days? I live in California, sunny California. SoCal, where in SoCal? Uh, so I live actually Northern California. I live in Redding, oh. not too far from. Oh, you're house. down in Redding. Okay. Um, the reason I asked, I'm not looking for an address, uh, on the air as yeah. we're broadcasting, but, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to send you half of the case that I bought. Yeah. I would love to try it. Man. So that, when we're, that sounds... when we're done and off the air, I'll get your address and uh, we'll send you some and, uh, you'll dig it, man. I got, yeah, I got a whole case good. of the grape soda though. I hope you dig grape. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's just oh, such an interesting sorry. concept. I just haven't heard of that. So yeah. that's cool. I want to drink like 12 of them and see what happens. <laughs> I'll do it with Probably you. Probably fall asleep. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's no, there's no THC involved, but, you know, it is it's it, it is a great concept. And with the way things are in the world today with, you know, all things uh, hemp and marijuana and THC, all that stuff, you know, basically going legal, um, it's everywhere. And, wow, Boneyard, you're getting an extended promo today. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you guys. <laughs> so the band, you know, let, let's, I want to back up, you know, Nick, sure. as you know, Jesse, and, and, and I'm not sure how you feel about this, but you rose to fame with a little tiny itty bitty bitty band. That's when I first met yeah. you. And that band is uh, being very much sarcastic, not itty bitty sleeping with sirens. You're one of the original founding members. Yes. That's right. Yep. And, uh, you know, for we can talk why and when you left, but that's that's when I met you many years back. And uh, yeah. that band is just amazing, and you decided to go on your own way, and now you're the band Lemon. Talk about, if you don't mind, that journey. Yeah, so that's kind of a trip. Yeah, when, when I had first met you years ago, I think, I think it was uh, Kellen and I played like a – a few songs yeah. on 96 the radio. 9 The Rogue, when I was still working at 96 9 The Rogue. You That's guys right. came in studio. And, so, and to be perfectly um, honest, I never heard y'all. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're a more. I, know. How did, I, I don't remember how that kind of came about, but I do. I just remember we ended up being off tour and came and played a song with you. And yeah. I, don't, I, I don't remember how it worked out, but. I think it was a friend of a friend, and they're like, hey, you know, JP, can you yeah. get these guys on the radio? They're huge over here, but no one knows who the hell they are in Oregon. Do your yeah. thing. That's your job. Yeah. And I said, okay, you know, <laughs> fuck it. I'm, let's do it. I'm in. Let's, Live music on go. the air. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, I think that you and I just always kind of ran into each other. Yes. At different events or different concerts. Or Fellow Ginger. It was just kind of, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hey, it worked out. <laughs> um so yeah, so that is when when I had first met you, and then yes, yeah, stuff kind of got really wild. You know, I did that journey and got to you know experience a lot of the world, and got to play really cool shows and all that. Um, and then you know, when the kids come along, you gotta be you want to be around. So um, so I stepped away, and and then. I did a few things. I did a couple solo projects, a couple records with that. I did a little bit of producing here and there. Um, but this new project is completely on a different level. And <clears throat> it's kind of interesting. And I don't really know how to like say it any different than this. Um, this is the first music that I'm actually kind of doing for me. You know, I really love it. Like, I'm really proud of these songs, more so than anything I think I've ever done previous. Um, 
it's an interesting boat to be in to have to kind of feel like, you know, if I don't say I'm a certain way, then it's just all going to disappear. And that's kind of like a, you know, a kind of a shitty thing to like feel and <laughs> yeah. think, but it's true. It's true. Um, but then I realized with this new project that it's like, because I'm actually being so honest with this project and doing something that I believe in and I love, and I enjoy listening to myself. Um, I know that feeling. Yeah. Where, yeah, you, I'm sure you do. You were in the same like boat, you know, but when, when you do something like that and you are vulnerable and honest with your passion in the songs that you're writing, the doors that are opening are just great. Like I, I really feel humbled. I really feel, you know, lucky and blessed. And um, I'm just so excited to see, you know, where this thing goes because so far, I mean, we're on, you know, top 40 radio down here now, <laughs> like in Northern California. Yeah, you texted me that. That was badass. I was like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Awesome. So, so that started like two days ago, Tuesday. And it's just a trip, man. I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you know, we're the <laughs> only unsigned band on the rotation. And that's exciting. What you would know? you classify and, uh, uh, the band Lemon as, as far as genre, if you can? Sure. Um, very vibey, very feel good. Um, it's, you can dance to it. You can sing along to it. It's just, it's just, like I said, it's completely different than anything else I've ever done. Does it um, lean rock? Does it lean alternative rock? Does it lean hip hop? Does it lean EDM? That's, I mean, I already know. It's want the yeah. listeners to know. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's, um, I would say it's more of like an indie pop, uh, dance record. That's, that's essentially what it is. There's a couple songs on the record that, um, I mean, I'm, you know, I play guitar that's like where I came from. So there's, you know, heavier guitar riffs just to <laughs> tap in for fun. Right. Uh, but it's, it's different because it's over dance beats and that's kind of like where, you know, that's kind of where the, it's the direction is heading for me at least is to do, uh, something that's really catchy and dancey, but has a little bit of like, you know, badass to it and can be a little bit heavy and, and just good hooks. That's what you want. That you is, want good hooks. <laughs> that is a very, very good description. And I feel like you've hyped it up and this is what I'm going to do with your permission. Of course, at the yeah. end of this podcast, I'm actually going to, I'm going to end it about three minutes earlier than normal. And I'm going to drop that song and yes. play it on the podcast with your permission. Hey, you got it. Absolutely. And then we're going to dump it on the YouTube as well when we throw all that together. Um, so it's going to be it. on there. <laughs> and uh, cool. So everyone who's watching the YouTube, everyone listening to this podcast right now, don't fast forward to the end. Listen to yeah. this little journey <laughs> we have and you, we will get to the band Lemon. Now, what song is it that we're, um, I'm going to be playing? I uh, love you. Is, is, that's the. Oh, that's I appreciate the that too. I, I love you too, Jesse. But what's the name of the song? Love you. No, no, I know, you. I know. I love you too. But what's the name of the song? <laughs> oh, it's love you. <laughs> love you. Oh, I got it. All right, all right. And I do love you. I do. Yeah, and I love you too, man, Nick. And I love yeah. you, buddy. I love you too. You're so quiet so over there. Jump in and say, good, Jesse good. texted me this stuff, the the new stuff, uh, like two or two or three weeks ago. Hands yeah. down, the best stuff I've heard you come out with, like. Holy crap. Dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. I've Thank been a fan since, since sirens all through the solo stuff. Hands yeah, that's right. This is the best stuff you've done. So ah, thank you. Anybody thank listening, you. Hit wherever you can get the stuff, download it, buy it. It's fucking awesome. So thank you, bro. I really appreciate awesome. that. Awesome. I yeah, man. I had to drop an F bomb. Oh, yeah, it's all right, that was like man. The first one. Like, oh, yeah, well, I'm proud time. of you, Nick. Good, good job. Um, I want to back up just a tad. Um, when you left sleeping with sirens, that was motivated because you became a dad. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's leaving millions and stardom and all that good stuff and and roadies and touring and all that stuff. <laughs> become yeah. a dad. That's bravo, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. What, yeah, what now, uh, now, but was it, was it difficult or was it just, no, not even, a, not even just whatever I'm doing that. <laughs> not even a thought. Uh, um, it was interesting. Uh, it was an interesting time too. Yeah. You know, I think when you're becoming a dad and 
don't really know like what to expect. Right. Um, it will tr- turn, turn your life around. Certainly you know, does. And going, and going just from being in an atmosphere that is so fast and so busy and so many people all the time talking, meeting you, blah, blah, you know, like you're just constantly being dragged in a direction and you have to play this show and you have to do this signing and then you have to play this show too the same day. And then it's, you know, you get a day off and a 60 date tour and you shoot a music video. It's not, you know, <laughs> right, like, yeah. it's not like uh, you don't get it's no chill time. You know, it's, it's very, it's a lot. And so to go from that to be, to becoming a father um, is it, it's an adjustment, you know, and it's, it's a good one. I don't, you know, I wouldn't change anything looking back, but, um, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a crazy adjustment. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that you guys both went through that as well. Like huh. it's wild. <laughs> I, I mean, personally for me, when I found out I was going to become a dad, I was already 36 years old, give or take. And I thought that's how old you are now. Oh, yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's I really only did. it's only because I dyed the beard, Nick. That's why I look yeah. so much younger. Uh, you you got to stop doing that, dude. This this gray, that's where it's at. If my gray looked as awesome as your gray did, maybe. However, mine, redheads, we go great. Watch out, Jesse. Watch out. About 35, 40 years. See, it's already a little bit happening. Mine just, yeah. it, it felt like overnight. Yeah. And I wouldn't even call it gray. It's like clear. You, you well, see through yeah. it. Yeah, you do look like totally. you have more beard right now, actually. So it makes that. it fuller, man. So, <laughs> what you know. I, what I like to say is, like, I'm I'm ready and prepared to go uh, salt and paprika. Salt and paprika. Right. You know, the hair, if the hair would do it, I'm, I'm fine. But the beard, man, I need the, I need the hair to catch up to the beard, Nick. Once it does, <laughs> then. Yeah, that's why this is, I did this. <laughs> I did, <you> know? <laughs> uh, is it this one? Can you guys hear that from that side? Oh, that's yeah. cool. All yeah. right. How do you, you're so pro. You just got all your. Oh, like thank you for that. Yeah, I don't want one of those. <laughs> that's really cool. Everyone gets to experience this. Is in, and oh, and and it's it's an extra special message for 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 you, Jesse. Hi, this is Avery. Thanks for listening to my dad on Dadcast. <laughs> Did that come through for you? That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Just the toys that's we really got. Cool. Is that is that your daughter? That is my daughter, Avery. Yes, the seven year old, the little, the rambunctious, sassy frass. Oh, I know. Sassy frass. You know, I you got know. two of them. <laughs> two of them. Oh, wild. I had something I wanted to say, Nick, and then the, the, the beard came up and, and I lost it again. But, you know, that's okay. That's all right. Happens. Um, sleeping with Sirens, Ban Lemon. Is there any possible way one of those guitars behind you work, or are they just for display? Yeah, they they all work. Yeah. You should pick one, one up if you feel the need and play like 10, 15, 30, you know, 30 minutes. Just kidding, not 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I know the sound's going to be horrible. The speakers are not dialed in, but what do you say? Can, can you play something for everyone real quick? Or no? I'll play a little, just a little jammer, but... Let me, I got to explain to you what, oh. which each one is. So okay. this one is my daughter, Olive's. That's her acoustic. Okay. That one, the electric, that's my other daughter, Bradley's. This one, <clears throat> this is my favorite guitar of all time. And if you want, I can go into the story. If yes. You, if you care. But Please. Really, you don't have to. Uh, this was, this was a gift from Kellen, actually. Okay. And then this was a, uh, a guitar company from Japan who reached out and asked me to design a guitar. And if I could design my dream guitar, what would it be? So I did. And that's what that one. So, I love it. What's that it story on the, on, the, on the centerpiece? <clears throat> so this, this one. So this has been everywhere with me. This has been to Asia, Australia. UK, Canada, any, everywhere I've gone, that's been. And I, when I had first moved, see, I graduated high school and I think the next day I flew to Michigan and I joined the band out there and a, uh, and I wanted an acoustic guitar and 
it was kind of like looking around, couldn't really find anything. And then I went to this just little tiny hole in the wall music shop and they had that guitar and it was like 50 bucks or something. <clears throat> and, um, so I was like, Hey, it's 50 bucks. What can I, you know, what can, what can I lose? So I, I got bucks. it and yeah, yeah. 50 bucks. You know, <laughs> that's a cheap, cheap guitar. That's, that's an easy. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, um, well, I ended up playing that guitar so much. Like it just became, I loved how it felt when I played it. I loved how it sounded. And then even, you know, later on, fast forward to like making, you know, really, really big records with, you can, ha you know, have like, you can use any sort of gear you want kind of thing. I would always gra gravitate to that. And the producers and engineers, you know, they'd see it and be like, oh, that's a shit guitar. Like, that's going to sound awful. Right. Why don't you play the, the big boy stuff? You know, like play this Martin, play the, you know, this Taylor. And, uh, and I didn't, uh, I would, I would play that. And they literally all of them are just like, holy shit. How does that guitar sound so good? I mean, it's just a, I swear it's like, it's a magic guitar. For real, I wrote really good songs on that guitar. <laughs> good stuff, so. and that's one of those ones that's going to be with you, hopefully forever. forever. Yes. Yeah, I'll I'll give it to the girls; they can fight over it. Um, and yeah, and that this is this decal. It's like an old eagle that was uh, actually a World War like two decal or something. It's a real one, and I got it from a vintage market. And it, you put it on. I put it on the guitar. Which is so dumb, but I, this guitar is great. <laughs> right. I mean, it's it, it's awesome. But you, you, how you put the decal on, it's kind of like a big fake tattoo, right? You know, like what I have all over my body. Just, yeah, those are all fake. By the way, those are going to wash off tonight. He put those on just press. for the for the dad cast today. Nice. That's it. That's it. Exactly. But yeah, so I did that on the, the guitar and looking back, like that's so dumb. Like I, I could have waterlocked the, the wood on the guitar. Like that was not a good idea, but I did it and it survived. It still sounds great. Did you so, do that right that? about when you got the guitar? No, I don't, no, I did it a couple years after. Okay. Cause I would say maybe that's like the magic. You it's, threw that on there maybe. and all of a sudden, oh. You definitely could be right. But 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 no, you, you never know. You never know. That's never good. Know. Well, maybe you can whip that thing down here in a few minutes and play something for us from the band Lemon. That would be that would be that'd be incredible, I think. Nick Martin. Yo. It's a nice window you got behind you, man. Isn't it great? <laughs> that is can nice you tell window. us a story about your blinds? Yeah, they're brown. <laughs> <laughs> I need to step up my podcast game, apparently. Oh man, you know, let me do it on the record publicly on video and audio you know i love you and i'm just tossing you some shit i i don't know i feel like I, no i'm no seriously i'm a jackass i have like seven eight autographed guitars by i know take us with you real quick on. prove it all right i'll prove it let's go okay because i told i told this man to you know this is we're gonna do our first zoom on the uh, dad cast and we you need a good yeah. background man you, you gotta you gotta turn up and so here we go this one's autographed by aaron lewis Love and Theft, Elvis Monroe, Eli Young Band, Joe Nichols, oh, Colt Ford Pink Bass. That's cool. <laughs> Try I like that one a lot. Yeah, this one's actually really cool. Um, let's yeah. see. This one was fun. It's a Father's nice TV, Day. man. Oh, thanks. That's, yeah, 82 inches of just awesomeness. Glorious. <laughs> Father's Day. Steve Harwell from Smash Mouth he hooks me up all the time when he's in town. So he got the guys to signed this for me, gave my kids a bunch of cool stuff. So there's that nice. one. This is from Oleander and Papa Roach and then Michael Franti down here. There you go, man. That's a good little collection. So, yeah. can, can you play any of them? No, I can't. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we have Jesse. Exactly. Well, don't worry, man. I, I can't play the guitar either. I can't play a can trumpet, though. I like to play a little bit. I mean, a quarter or two, but I mean... I'm much better at, uh, you know, playing radio, man. I might be wrong, but I just remember briefly when we did the last interview, I thought for some reason you had pl played the guitar. Keep in mind, this was the guitar that I was using when I played. Yeah, I know. I remember it. You also did the show uh, before. And then I remember when the, the sirens and Kellen was here and they did the pop-up show. 
didn't you? And yeah. this was after you were gone. Did you came and like played for a little bit? And all the you know the teeny boppers were like, oh my god, it was. <laughs> and your little girl yeah, was probably was four at the time. I yeah. know because on Small. this very YouTube channel you're watching this from, if you go back, oh man, there's a video I did at that show, and uh, you're in the background wa- walking oh, with your wow. girl <laughs> up. And it's funny. The only comments I got were, you didn't even mention anything about Jesse being on the video. I'm like, really? You sons of bitches. That's what you're going to say? Yeah. I didn't give the guy in the background walking with his daughter who didn't want to be disturbed on camera any yeah. love, and you're giving me yeah. shit for it. But, you know, it was funny. Hey, that's hey, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, Nick, it's time. Well, it's time for what? A dad joke. Go. Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> You go first. I got a book. You want me to go first? Actually, let's uh, let's thank another sponsor really quick. In the middle um, of okay, all right. I mean, yeah. we haven't we didn't thank Chris Barnett at Realty Executives of the Barnett Group. We uh, our, my my but fellow you, radio Chris brethren. Barnett. I can't wait yeah. to actually meet and hang out with you and talk KBOI. because yes. I know you used to work there, and so did I. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be gonna all be good awesome. talking. And a Happy Dragon Mongolian Barbecue. Mm. Awesome food. Yum. Great service downtown. Next time you're up in Medford, dude, we'll have to go. Like, yeah, I love it. are awesome. This food is so good. Redding. It's hot there in the summertime, boy. I'll tell you what. It is. It's, you know, but everyone kind of gave us, when we first moved down here, everyone's like, you know, do you like it? And we're like, yeah, we like it a lot. It's great, you know. And, um, and everyone was saying, you know, just wait. Till you see the summer, you know, wait, you haven't lived here for a summer. Right. And then we did, and we've now done it, you know, two times and it's not that bad. No, and it's I mean, kind of just like Medford. It, it gets really hot similar. as all hell and you get every friggin' season and yeah, 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 yeah. But and what's really it. cool, then, Mount Shasta or Shasta Lake, just right there. Oh yeah. Well, we go to whiskey town. I mean, it's like, you know, 10 minutes from our house yep. and it's amazing. I mean, we, Stand up paddle boards there. Like, come on. It's not too hot for that. No, it ain't, <laughs> especially with the water right there. I don't know. I'm, yeah. My balance used to be real good. Um, I'm not so sure it's good anymore because, you know, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm working on it maybe one day. I used to be thin like Jesse, you, but. UAM, Jim, <laughs> do this. I know. You, you, I that's your thing, harder. huh? It is my thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no I, I, this 2 a.m., but I don't drink either. I just eat, and I don't even yeah. eat oh, that yeah. much. I just, I can't explain it. I think it's that whole, I, you know, I've come to a conclusion, man. I, I watch TV, and those commercials come on, and I think I have low T. I have low testosterone, and I need to buy the pills that make my t- I'm kidding. I, 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 well, maybe yeah. I do need the pills. I'll, I'll hook you up. I got some. You can. <laughs> there ain't no. <laughs> but, we'll, do, we'll do that. We'll drink 12 of the, the Boneyard Elixirs and take a half a bottle of low T pills and see what happens. Oh, death. That sounds like a great time. That's yeah. the recipe for disaster either way. It's, death. Yeah. You know, sorry, kids. Your dad has passed away because he was really, really laid back while, you know, working out because he had he had to work out and run. And paddleboard without <laughs> yeah. falling off. Whoa, uh, where are yeah. we going with this okay. thing, man? Let's, let's get back to dad jokes. Dad jokes. Hey, JP. Oh, you have a book? I, Is it a dad joke book? My daughter got me a book for Christmas. For 365 so. days of dad jokes. That's right. So, sorry, podcast. So, what's today's oh. date? Today uh, is I'm, March 10th, is it not? I could pick the date. You want me to pick the one for today's date? That's Jesse's yeah. running the show today, man. He's a special right. guest. Yeah. I say so. Welcome to, welcome to my show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Let me know what you think. March 10th. Hey, JP. Yes. Why did Spider-Man go to the doctor? Um, mm, I don't know. His spidey sense was tingling. <laughs> I think we need to write our own dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> fucking terrible that was really sad that was horrible uh, thank god so, uh, that, uh, we so have the laugh track so, so taylor Kalmus and peter Harmon, you yeah. guys probably really aren't dads because you fucking suck <laughs> <laughs> they just wrote them and made bank off a dad joke book they watched fucking spider yeah. with toby mcguire and decided to come up with some crazy joke <laughs> that's it that's it 
Oh, oh you know, I've got so many, so many jokes, but I can't necessarily classify them as dad jokes. And definitely plenty of them are really inappropriate. So I'm trying to come up with one that. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I've got a series I of them. I'm sure I you're going to do the knock knock joke again. I did that last week and that was hilarious. No, it, it was fucking hilarious. It, it was. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Uh, I want to tell Jesse just so okay. I'll tell him real quick. I said, uh, and I remember this was meant for Nick. Okay, knock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, Definitely. knock. Who's there? Go fuck yourself. All right. So anyway, that's the. <laughs> See, he, he, he thinks it's funny. <laughs> I do. It's I still do funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nick. Yo, give me a minute. I need to think. I I need to think for a sec. Okay, so go ahead. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. I might, and you'll okay. it's all right here, captured <laughs> for the world to I, see. I can't. You're you're like the brains behind this. You got you're the the magic. So get Pff, magic, <laughs> magic. Look at your head. I, that thing's magical. All right. Let's start. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. Do you right. have you ever heard, or do you know why elephant? No, hold on. Damn it, this is difficult. These are so old. And my son's calling. Well, perfect timing. Oh, and it might be on video. Oh, he turned it off. He went, oh, crap, dad's doing a podcast. He hung up um, and threw me off guard. Okay, here we are. Uh, do you know why elephants wear red sneakers? No. So they can hide in the strawberry patch. Have you, have you ever seen an elephant in a strawberry patch, Nick? No. <laughs> Must have worked. <laughs> that's the joke hey hey what, what did what did geronimo say when he saw a herd of elephants coming down a mountain oh uh, look there's a herd of elephants coming down the mountain hey do you know why the elephants wore sunglasses no <laughs> neither do i <laughs> I think I should have ended it. I think I should have ended it at the hiding in the patch part. And neither I, did I. Think I, I think. Partner, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think the drugs are kicking in, man. I don't know. Yeah. Oh boy. No, there's definitely <laughs> bone elixirs. No, it's the bone, the boneyard elixirs. No, no, no. They, they, yeah. they do not fault you and make you forget jokes. I'm telling you, it was a three parter. I got the strawberry patch right. I got the sneaker part right. What did John was he was? Glasses. I heard velvet's coming down the mountain. Look, I heard velvet's coming down the mountain. And the glasses. Why do elephants wear sunglasses? Yeah. So people wouldn't recognize them. What did Geronimo say when he saw a herd of elephants coming down the mountain wearing sunglasses? Nothing. He didn't recognize them. Okay, there it is. There's, 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 there's your dad joke. Got it. All four in a row. This is garbage video. I apologize. (laughs) You're both laughing, though. I don't care who you are. You asked me to do a clean one, so there you go. We're not laughing with you. We're actually laughing at you. Well, they wouldn't be the first time nor the last, my friend. <laughs> Very true. Very true. So I thought it was good. Oh, was like, Jesse, so, you don't got to be that we nice. I have you play some music because we just freaking. Laugh. Okay. All right. All right. I got. <laughs> be, I got a joke for you. Then any fans that we may have had, they're probably not our fans okay. anymore. Okay. Give me. Can you give me a moment to reel it back and, and try to save it then? Because this one's good. Okay, I would. Go. If All we're right. gonna tell jokes. This may not necessarily be a dad joke, but here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So two blind guys, old friends. They haven't seen each other in years. They bump into each other at a place. And first guy goes, holy crap. Did I say blind guys? I meant deaf guys. They said, holy crap. Frank, it's good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in years. The other guy goes, oh, I'm doing pretty good, Bob. How are you? He's like, you're not using sign. Wow. How'd you learn to do that? It's like, oh, this doctor in New York cost me a lot of money. But uh, I can talk without using sign language. He says, wow, give me his number. Gets the number, flies to New York, drops in, says, Doc, you taught my buddy how to speak without using sign. Can you teach me, please? He says, okay, it's $100 right now. Pull your pants down, bend over. Excuse me? So pull your pants down, bend over. Okay, pulls his pants down, bends over. Doctor takes a broomstick, jams it up his ass. Guy goes, ah! All right, come back tomorrow. I'll teach you B. <laughs> come on, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, no? No? Uh, oh, no. Tough crowd, man. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Wow. <laughs> All right, Nick, your turn. 
I, I told I, I told my joke. I'm done, dude. All right. Well, I guess we should move off the jokes then. And yeah. uh, let's go back. Let's get back. Let's get back to topics. Let's talk dad again. We got yeah, about 15 minutes left of this song, bitch. And then we're going to play the beautiful The Band Lemon song. But before we get to that, yes. um, so <clears throat> I'm going to do positive. You know, my, my initial gut always questions is always want to ask, what's the hardest moment as a dad you've had but no what's the best and they're all so good but if you could pinpoint like one time one interaction one moment with your daughter's daughter both however that sticks in the mind jesse because i know what mine are and it's hard to pick one but if you could pick just one moment in time what uh that you share with your kids what was it why was it special I, I think I'm going to break the rules a little bit and, and tell you the hard part too. I'll, I'll say both. I'll get to the, you know, the good moments, that kind of thing. Okay. But something that is like really, really tough, at least for me is with the girls because they are, you know, so close in age and best friends. They're also very different. You know, they, they're very similar. You know, they, they look the same. They have so much fun together, but they have their own little personalities. Right. So something that I would say that is tough with that is finding out how to interact with them on a personal level, not just them together. It's not just both the girls, you know, like, okay, you're both going to do this. You know, I have to discipline the girls different or I have to, whatever it may be. It's finding that balance of, yeah, you know, how do you do that? Like what, what, how is it, you know, with, with this one, she doesn't learn better. Um, or she doesn't take, you know, the things I'm trying to say, um, the same way as the other one does. And so it is this kind of like, you know, you're constantly trying to find that so that's the tough part. Yes, exactly. Now the, the good part is seeing them individually do, um, just like their own, special things you know there's you know one of my daughters I, I taught her how to you know record and, and do that so she'll just show me these awesome songs that she comes up with and you know we, we bring it out here and in, in the living room and put it on the sound bar and you know it's just I love I love seeing that and um and you know just skateboarding with them it's like all of the things that I loved when I was a kid the girls love as well and so that that's like definitely one of the cool moments. And, you know, I, I you know, I really look up or I uh, appreciate how they look up to me uh, because they love me. I'm, I'm yeah. their dad and, and they think it's cool that I do music and skateboard. And I mean, it's a it's a good childhood. You know, so, so I do love that part about it. Good. And, you know, bravo, because you're providing them with a good childhood and a father who is there and present a dad, yeah, man, a dad. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's wild to me though, to see when we were kids and I'm sure it was the same for you guys. Um, you know, like you go outside and you play all day long, right? Yep. Like during the summer until the sun goes down and your mom or dad, you know, calls, calls you back in. Yep. Um, so it's, I love to see when my, you know, when my girls do that, when they just go outside, it's like, that's what you should be doing. Right. It's, it's, it's not kind of wild to me because yeah. that's not like a thing anymore. No, it's this. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. It's the phone. My son just apologized. Remember when I, he called a second yeah. ago, <laughs> he texted me. Sorry. That's funny. Uh, he's a good son. He is he's a good kid. son. We should no, yeah, I don't want to put them on video, but you know, that's a good answer, man. And, I, unfortunately, I just don't think as much as we would like it to be. I, I, it's just not the way things are anymore. I, I can't. Yeah. And I feel like I can. All right, kids, go. Go play. You come back when the streetlights come on, and there's still just a itty bitty bitty bit of sunlight left. So come on back. Go enjoy the summer. Go enjoy your friends like we did. Um, people will say, I think, that that's not – we, it doesn't happen anymore because the world has changed and there's more evil out there. I, I don't think so. I think there's just as much evil out there as there always has been. We are just more aware of the fact because the world has become so much smaller because of these. 
Right? Yeah. And uh, isn't that a trip? <laughs> and so that's, that's, that's my take on it. And it's not an original take. I just, you know, it's, I think it's very, very true. And it makes uh, a lot of sense too. it's, you know, but it shouldn't be that way because with these things, I think they can be safer doing just that. Yeah. 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 It's a goddamn friggin' catch 22. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So Nick, that was my yeah. insight for the night. Huh? How you like them apples after a bad joke? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You threw it back into a, a decent podcast, man. I'm proud of you. Okay. It's can Bobby be yeah. poop jokes. Fart games? It should be, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, well, you did just in here. Fun fact, I, I'm going to tell the world. Go drive. If you live locally in Medford, Southern Oregon, and you find yourself in Medford over the next couple of weeks, it's March 10th, 11th, something like that. I forget. COVID. Uh, 2021. And you find yourself driving down Crater Lake Highway. <laughs> We got a billboard, man. Nick bought a freaking billboard for DadCast. And you know what it says on it, Jesse? No way. You know what it says? The number one parenting podcast. (laughs) And I called him. I said, are you fucking shitting me? Why would it not? It does not. It does does. say that. (laughs) And I said, I'm like, I mean, we're good. We're good parents. You know, we're absolutely, I'm a good, I think I'm a real good dad. And my lady, she's a great mom. And, you know, we're doing good at that game. But the number one, I mean, of all the, (laughs) we got a lot to live up to, man. We got a lot to live up to. Did you get it? Why would you not? It has our pictures on it, dude. Why would you not say the number one parenting podcast? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you see it <laughs> yeah it's just that's so funny i mean i feel you know like i feel like if i saw that driving down the road with my wife she would be like oh that's that's good that's like a parenting right and then they listen to right? it and that's what and i'm that's, scared of and then you fucking listen to it and you're like holy shit those guys are fucking idiots <laughs> <laughs> those guys so are like a joke parents <laughs> Maybe it is a joke. Kids and how are their kids still alive? <laughs> yeah, I think we show well, I, glimpses of of you know. I almost feel like bring the baby out, so there is proof of life here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My son wanted to come tonight, and he's I'm oh. like, and, but he's very antsy. He's sensitive and antsy, and I don't have a TV in the other room. I used to uh, that had a you know I got Nintendo Minis. I had them, had them hooked up, and pff, you put that out there, and they're they're handled, they're good. But I knew ten minutes in he would come. And be like right here, oh, dad. What are you doing, dad? Dad, dad, dad. Oh, look, yeah. the camera's on. But and I thought maybe, maybe let me get through this first one first here, buddy. Let me get through this first video one that we're doing, and then we'll see how it goes. But come on, Nick. Why don't you introduce Liam to the world? Is that something that you feel you yeah, can well, do? Let me, let me get him real quick. Hold on, Jesse. This kid. Oh man, I don't know where the blonde came from, but wow. Is he still? Is yeah. he awake? Or I don't know if he's awake. He's in the other room. I just texted Mama. Oh, are we going to see Mama? No, no, no. She, Baby? Right. Nah, she wants to be. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Liam's coming. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> oh, look. Tattoos. That's a good topic. Almost everyone we get has tattoos. Look at you go, Jesse. What's your favorite yeah. tattoo? If you can pick one. Oh, it, he's sleeping. He's asleep? Uh, no, he's waking up. Hey, buddy. Hey. You want to say hi to Jesse and JP? Oh. Oh, hey. Liam. Hey, what's up, guys? Say hi, oh. Jesse. Hey. hey. Say, how's it going? Proof that Nick can <laughs> recreate, man. Well done. So cute. So cute. Oh, That's handful. Cute. Liam, you're Jesse's a good looking, you're a good looking baby. Get in my belly. <laughs> I know. <she> <laughs> <laughs> that hair. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. That my kids. Great. Gosh. I think my daughter didn't have hair until she was like three. Well, she had it, but it just didn't grow. Wow. You got in, 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 are both or one of them a redhead, Jesse, your daughters? Both. They're both. both oh, I, I, you know, it, it's either a blessing or a curse or both, depending on what part of life you're in, right? You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Did, oh, yeah. Did you get teased when you were in elementary school? No, I didn't, I, but I didn't, my, it's, it's like a different. Yeah. You got lucky. You're, you're, curve. you're a, you're a, what a, a night walker or something. They call them. Yeah. Not, not a true, definitely. this, this is freaking 
that's some red red i mean i was the yeah, yeah, yeah. definition of carrot top as an elementary school and like chubby and freckles and then finally <laughs> high school came and i got muscular and thinned down and actually did something cool with the hair and actually so, uh, knocked a guy out in my freshman year and no one fucked with me the rest of my <laughs> high school years but elementary school uh, was not an easy thing for me being a ginger but girls get yeah, it easier definitely. girls girls get it easier for sure and and for you sure. are in trouble my friend oh two redhead girls <laughs> yeah, dude, wait till they get to be teenagers and they're like dad i want to go on a date and i know everything you don't know shit exactly yeah that's right no that see i'm there now I'm, oh, sure. oh. I'm there it's literally it's just, you, know, you know why they, why do you let them yeah. <laughs> exactly do they have phones or do they have tablets uh, they have they have ipads yeah. they do have ipads two seven year now yeah. normally i'd be like oh my god two seven year olds have ipad <laughs> my daughter has two two ipads two yeah a little one and a big one one for bedroom one for living just room or something yeah. yeah in case it doesn't yeah. charge them up but and are they huge fans of watching videos on youtube uh yes definitely. is that what they do they they love that it's uh there's a game that they really love it's called cat sim and you be a cat and you can run around and uh Full Sounds fun. My, my my wife and i play with them as well because you can like see each other on uh, you know on the server and right. you can do like a locked game so you don't have any weirdos or any bullshit like that but awesome. um yeah so that's their that's their thing that's their they love it <laughs> i gotta tell my daughter about the cat sim she plays a cat sim she Look plays roblox <laughs> it might be part of roblox i don't know she she does the kind of thing that stop me the pets and whatnot and Got uh, it. I don't know you should check that one out. It's huge. And there's YouTube videos and she watches more YouTube videos on people playing the game than she does playing the game, which is just, isn't that strange? What? And, and watching kids open up toys. What? That's a huge what? thing. I right? know. And it's and been huge. I want to be the if you like, boy. I don't yeah. want someone else open toys. What right. The and the thing is like those videos on YouTube have like millions and millions of views kids are making Wild. their parents some serious cash <laughs> yeah. and i can't get no, like three <laughs> oh, i can't get like 10 views on someone getting hit by a car almost for real but you know whatever <laughs> we'll get there we will get there <laughs> man what an adventure this thing called dad is this thing called life exactly oh. nick what are you doing to me man it's normally recorded in the middle of the day I'm an old man. It's like it's like this is, dark yeah, outside. You can't bedtime. tell. Yeah, it's late. I got like three minutes, and I'm supposed to be in bed. Well, that's what happens <laughs> yeah. when you get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to pump iron. <laughs> pump iron. Yeah, I gotta, you I, I got to stay camera ready, dude. <laughs> camera ready? <laughs> you just got to wear a, a kick-ass black dad cash shirt. And, I learned and you all look my thin. shit from The Rock. <laughs> so. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're old, jabroni. All right. All right. I like the shirt. I, I think the shirt's great. You like that? Nick likes it too. Yeah. I, I like it too. You know what though? So JP, <laughs> he's probably telling the story. JP goes to Moxley, says, "Hey, dude, I need a shirt." For, I, maybe he forgot he had a co-host. I don't know. Maybe he forgot we were a team. I fuck. I don't know. You re, we, we've already told <laughs> this story the in the last podcast, episode, so man. Called, fuck JP. We did, dude, yeah. I'll dude, I'll wear that thing. Bring it. <laughs> And here we it's go with shirt. the, the, the number one parenting podcast one. right here. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Come for all of your parenting advice. That's right. We only right. have one shirt. All right. And that's it. Jesse, I'm going to put you on the spot one last time. We've only got a couple minutes left before I actually play your song. Um, will you play us a song on a guitar real quick? You know, I was thinking about it. And it's, honestly, it's because there's only one song out. I really oh. want the people to hear it. As it, As should, it should be. Okay, well, then you can't to take the guitar right. down and play some Slayer. I don't care. Well, yeah, I can, I can strum it a little bit. <laughs> strum, but I'm not, you guys have to, they have to hear the song the way it's. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, the old iPad mics. You sound awful. It's it's not the highest of quality. You sound great, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to know a secret trick for tuning? Yes. 
Okay, so this is standard. But what you can do, it's called dad gad. This is perfect for the dad tap. And it's the reason why it's called dad gad is because you tune it down so it's D A D G A D. Dad gad. Now, now that you're tuned, this is what it sounds like open. That's dad guy. Oh, you ready? Is it this one? Good job. Have you not labeled the... the no, I haven't. The hell do you do? <laughs> uh, I, think I, your, uh, I think I have your, the song that you guys need um, for like your loop for your intro. Oh, music. yeah, I had one on here, but I changed it with my daughter. You want me to I use your it, music think, or for the loop intro? Okay, let's hear it. Well, you, you should definitely use the actual good music. This is more of a joke, but it might be really cool, and you might really love it. So who knows? But let's see. Let's hear here's, it. Here, here's what I hear. Dad cat. <laughs> what do you think? There's our new jingle, man. I like it. Hey, you got to record that it. professionally for us and leave it because that, that's. I, I ain't joking. I'll use that song, bitch. Yeah. I'll put that right here on this button right here. Guys, I can I can crank out songs all day long. So, so instead of that, you we'd have you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I what I'm going to do here is I'm going to thank you for being on oh, the show. And then uh, as soon as I say goodbye and we say goodbye to Nick and we say goodbye to you, then we're going to play the band Lemon. Love yes. you. Yes. And uh, yeah, I just want to big thanks to Michael Farina uh, in Canada for playing drums. Um, big thanks to my wife, Shailani for writing the lyrics with me. Thank God I have her because I don't know how to, I'm not good at lyrics. That's lyrics are really hard. So, so she is, she's got to take credit for that. And, um, and yeah, everyone, I hope everyone loves it. And anyone who's interested in either purchasing the song or getting their hands on it or finding more about Jesse Lawson and the band lemon, where would you suggest the best place to go for them is? Honestly, you can go anywhere, anywhere that you stream music. So Spotify, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Adobe, like whatever, like whatever you use, it's there. You just got to search the band Lemon. Um, and yeah, there's one song out now. It's the one you're about to hear, but um, there's a bunch more. Oh, that, that is awesome. Uh, and if you're driving through oh, Reading, awesome. you might just hear it on the radio. Yes, that's wild too. That's a trip. Isn't that crazy? Thanks. I've Thanks been on the other side years. of that for so many, many years for bands. And yeah. the fact that that for you is special and it's not like pff, whatever, like so many bands I've seen now that just get so jaded and, and used to that, you know, beginning, that's what success, I guess, does. The fact that you are still so humble and awesome, Jesse, I applaud oh, you for you. that. You are amazing. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. And thank you, guys. It's, it's been really fun. Absolutely. So... On behalf of Nick Martin, the man, the myth, the bald-headed legend, and myself, JP, Jesse Lawson, thank you so much for being on DadCast. You're an amazing guest. Uh, we look forward to maybe having you back on again sometime in the future. Yes. I'm going to play this real time. quick. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to DadCast. And now it is time for the band Lemon and Love You on DadCast. We'll see you all next week. Later.
I'll be